The main question I get asked about airbrush foundation is why is it better than regular foundation? And the answer is, it's not that the formula of foundation that we use for the airbrush gun is a better formulation than regular foundation. It's that the way that it's applied to the skin is better. When you use an airbrush gun to apply foundation to the skin, you're spraying it onto the face in a fine mist. Once it's sprayed onto the face, it stays right where it is without using sponges or brushes to push it around and it sets. And once it sets, you get a nice, long-lasting, even, smooth finish. It's about as perfect as you're going to get. So why don't we get started? I'm going to show you how we do it. Okay, so once I turn on my airbrush machine, it's going to be a little bit noisy. So I've already loaded it with the foundation color that I'm going to use. And the foundation goes right into that little well. And once I turn on the air compressor, the makeup will be sprayed out of the nozzle right from this tip. So I'm just going to pin my bangs back and then we're going to get started. Okay, so my bangs are pinned back. Now I'm going to turn on my airbrush and get spraying. I'm going to start on this side of my face and usually I like to start around the mid cheek back of the face area. So once I start spraying it on, You should be able to see I'm getting a little bit more coverage on this side of my face where I'm spraying. And I'm going to take it down onto my neck a little bit. Good. So I've done with watery eyes. Let me shut that off. So I've done just the left side of my face. And usually I tell my clients to keep their eyes closed during this step so your eyes aren't watering like mine are right now. But as you can see, a lot of the redness is gone from this side of my face where the foundation is. But it doesn't look heavy at all, but it's a nice, smooth, even finish. So I'm going to finish up the other side of my face, and then I'll come back. Okay, so now that the foundation is sprayed evenly across my whole face and a little bit down onto my neck, I'm going to just continue on as I normally would with any other foundation and spot conceal any areas that I have to. I'm going to add a little bit of powder to set and then maybe a little bit of blush and bronzer. So here we go. Okay, so taking my concealer, I'm using MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the medium palette. I'm just going to go right under my eyes just to get it nice and close under there because it's a little bit more difficult to do with the gun to get close to the eye area you want to try and avoid that spot if you can just because it makes the eyes water a little bit as you saw so other side same thing Okay, good. And now I'm just going to spot conceal a couple of blemishes that I want a little bit extra coverage on. So I'm taking a super fine tip brush, I don't know if you can see that, and I'm just getting it into my concealer and I'm going to hit a couple of those spots. 
the airbrush gave me really good coverage everywhere. I'm just trying to detail and make sure it's totally flawless. Okay, next I'm going to powder. I'm just going to take a nice fluffy powder brush and then I have a translucent loose powder here that I'm just dipping in and I'm just going to pat onto the areas that need it, which are where I just concealed and I like the sides of my nose because I don't like shine there. I'm just going to do the center of the forehead and the chin. Next up, I'm going to do a little bit of blush. Today I'm going to use Inglot Cream Blush in the color 80. And I'm putting it on with a stippling brush so it's nice and light. And I'm just going right on the apples of my cheeks. The airbrush foundation has already set, so I don't have to worry about moving around. It's good to go. You can proceed like normal foundation after you sprayed it on and given it um, a minute or two to dry. Good, now I'm just going to add a little bit of bronzer. So I'm going to use a cream bronzer. This one's by Hourglass. It's the bottom color, the darker one. And I'm just going to put it on parts of the face where the sun would hit. So that's right across the forehead, the top of your cheekbones, across the nose, and the chin. Okay, and that's the finished airbrush face. After I airbrushed everything on, I just went back in with a little bit of the concealer, some blush, powder, and a little bit of bronzer. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.